Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, before we get started, if you have not yet, I ask you to please subscribe and please share these out on your Facebook page. Appreciate it. And uh, if you don't mind, if you like what you see, give us a click over here. Click the like button. Give us a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Today's video is on what is the net worth of Max Bayer Jr.? How much is he worth? It's really our business. Who cares? Let's find out anyway. As the goofy and lovable Jethro Bodine on the Beverly Hillbillies, Max Bear Jr. was part of one of television's all-time favorite families. However, his work beyond Jethro isn't exactly lengthy. In fact, the last role that Bear took was in Murder, She Wrote. So, for the last 30 years, Bear hasn't been in acting. However, he hasn't been out of work. As I'll get to here in a little bit, uh, his hands in variety of money-making uh, in, uh, endeavors. Rather than continue chasing the success of Beverly Hillbillies, he elected to work in the world around the stage. His transition paid off handsomely. According to CelebrityNetWorth.com, Bayer Jr. is now worth $50 million as he celebrated his 84th year. Not bad for someone that was going to uh, be forever typecast after the days of the Beverly Hillbillies. What was the secret? It's actually not that complicated. Uh, it did acquire owning up to the fact that Bear Jr. is never going to be a long-time success in acting, but the son of a world championship boxer didn't let the fight come to him. Instead, he stormed out the gate with Macon County Line in 74 film that reached major commercial success off of a cheap budget. For just $120,000 in cost, the film made $25 million in theaters. There was your start. He also made Ode to Billy Joe as well as Hometown USA, which were successes in their own right. Having his hands in entertainment production was a shrewd move, but it wasn't the former Beverly Hillbillies actor's only play. He also used his capital to buy the rights to certain things. For example, in 84, he purchased, he purchased attempted to buy the rights to Like a Virgin by Madonna, but when ABC attempted to stop him, he won a multi-million dollar lawsuit. Most notably, he bought various rights to Beverly Hillbillies, from slot machines and casinos to food and beverages. He had made a ton of products based on the hit show. Tactic wasn't always in the cards for Max Bear Jr., but he sure did make that money. And that's all I got for you. Um, actually, in doing this research for this, I, I did not know that he'd made Ode to Billy Joe. And I did not know the Like a Virgin thing either. So I'm kind of shocked at myself. I'm hoping that many people watch this video viewership's down and i think this one is really interesting and i hope you guys share it out with your friends uh, i promise you if they decide not to be your friends anymore after watching this send them to me i'll have a sit down with them and i'll talk to them and they'll be your friends again i promise anyway have a great sunday god bless i'll be praying for you mm -hmm.